Uh, if this is your first time here, we welcome you and uh, we hope you'll enjoy this episode. Uh, and if you're returning, welcome back. Uh, today I am in Fort Lauderdale. And as any of you know that are really into boating in Florida, this I think is really the boating capital of the state. Uh, it has an extensive uh, canal system throughout all of Fort Lauderdale, so you can actually catch a water taxi and go to restaurants here. Uh, and then there's some of the largest yachts in Florida are uh, moored here in Fort Lauderdale. And today I am at the Bahia Mar uh, Marina, which is where the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show will be held in November, which I cannot wait to attend. And um, this is just one of the most beautiful marinas in the state. So I enjoy looking at boats all the time and I hope you do as well. Uh, I think what we're gonna see here this evening is some of the largest boats and most beautiful boats. So I look forward to uh, sharing that with you. Let's go for a so walk. Okay, starting off uh, behind me is a 48 foot Sea Ray sedan bridge. I think they did an incredible job with this boat. It's always been one of my favorites. Well, behind me is a Hinkley 55, uh, which brings us to a whole another level. The workmanship is um, just unrivaled, I think, in this category. And it is a beautiful boat and looks amazing just sitting still. Better. Behind me is an 86 Riva Domino, which uh, is in that Riva Gray, uh, so it's very stunning and the workmanship's incredible. It's a beautiful Italian boat. Right behind me is a 44 foot uh, power cat. It is just an incredible boat. Uh, it looks like it's uh, what's 44 feet long, but about 23, 24 foot wide. So it's very stable. It has more than twice the space that I currently have on my boat and it's something that uh, I'm using as a goal for myself uh, to retire on this boat. Uh, maybe not necessarily this one, but something similar, and there's quite a few in this category. So one of the things to keep in mind when you have a boat is uh, there's always gonna be someone with one that's bigger. Uh, right now I have a 44 uh, foot Sea Ray Sundancer. I love the boat. It just makes me so happy. Uh, I have a friend who has a 56 Carver and uh, they just told me the other night that they just purchased a 70 foot Ocean Alexander. Uh, and that was right after coming back from the Bahamas. And I think when you go to exotic places whether it's Fort Lauderdale, which I know you'll say, well, that's not really exotic. But when you take a look at some of these boats and the amount of money that's here, so it makes you think, oh, well, maybe my 56 foot boat is not large enough. I deserve something bigger. And uh, I think that's awesome. It's a great idea, but it's a way to get you in financial trouble as well. Uh, because as you know, the larger the boat, uh, the more expensive the maintenance is gonna be. So um, it's something to keep in mind as you shop for your next perfect boat. And so up until now, we've seen some beautiful boats, but they've all been under 100 feet. Now we're going to take a look at the super yachts. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. This was just a quick impromptu episode just to uh, share with you what I'm seeing here at Bahia Mar in Fort Lauderdale. It is 
just amazing and it makes me really excited about coming to the boat show in early November. Uh, we already have our hotel reservations, we are ready to go. And I think we are going to be over the top impressed with everything we see. So uh, I look forward to that and of course we'll be sharing that with you as well. And until next time, lead an incredible life. Thanks. Bye.